Hey there beautiful people, this is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist and nutrition detective. So this is the third in our series on the skinny on fats. And what we're going to talk about today is probably the most abundant fat in the American diet. Now that isn't necessarily a good thing. We are going to be talking, we talked before about an unsaturated fatty acid, which was um, the omega-3s, right? And now we're going to be talking about the omega-6s. Okay, so it's they're not all bad, but they are not real good either. So they're kind of a neutral fat, but actually I'm going to kind of lump them in the bad category. And I'm going to tell you why because they are essential like the omega-3s, but right there is where the similarity stops. They, they are totally not the same. The omega-6s, which I'll tell you what they are in just a minute, are very inflammatory in your body and cause lots of issues with us because we get too many of them. Omega-3s, just the opposite, anti-inflammatory, lots of health benefits. Omega-6s, not so much. If you are in a race with the omega-3s and the omega-6s, you always want the omega-3s to win. They are better and unfortunately they compete with each other. So we know that scientists have told us that the best ratio between omega-6s and omega-3s are one-to-one -one ratio. We should be getting one-to-one -one in our diets. Unfortunately, we're getting, especially in the American diet, more like 20 to one, 20 omega-6s to omega-3s. That is a terrible, terrible scenario that we have to change. Um, and, and when you add a lot of processed carbs to an omega-6, it even makes the fire and the flames go higher. It's an inferno. And we can see that in the disease rates that we have. So here's, here's the problem, guys, is that they are in everything. Like I said, they're the most abundant source of fat in our diets. They're in everything. Um, what are they? So number one is soybean oil in our diet, in the U.S. diet. And then comes sunflower and corn oil, vegetable oil, cottonseed oil, peanut oil, and um, and also uh, they are they are very um, they're in like chips and salad dressings, and they're in all kinds of processed foods that we eat. Lots and lots of them. Um, they're in they're in frozen foods. Lots of things. Now here's the here's the problem is that all of those oils don't just have the omega-6s in them. Some of them actually have omega-6s in abundance, but they do have some monounsaturated fatty acids, which are the good oils. So it's kind of confusing because like peanut oil is kind of like half and half. It has half of the omega-6s and it has half of the good oils, which are the monounsaturated fatty acids, which we'll, we're going to talk about. So it's not just 100%, but the oils that I just mentioned have more omega-6, and those are the ones that you need to look out for. So, and I'm going to give you some better oils in other videos that you can substitute for all these omega-6s. Omega so think, think Wesson oil. Think those cooking oils that we grew, all grew up with, that everybody used to fry things in. Think, you know, just think about our salad dressings. Think about mayonnaise or, or um, you know, all kinds of foods that you find in your pantry and in your refrigerator. Now, here's the thing. The American Heart Association and many different agencies have touted these oils as being much healthier much healthier than saturated fats, but I'm here to disagree with that. We're changing our minds on that science because it's just not good anymore. It doesn't hold water. There are several really good studies that show when you substitute omega-6s for saturated fats, your, your heart disease rate actually goes up. So that is a problem. And the other pro big, huge problem is the processing that these oils go through. 
it's it's pretty gruesome it's really bad and what happens is they um, they're extracted at very high temperatures which can cause trans fats to actually happen but also to cause them to go rancid but the real problem the real problem is that to get the oil out of these little seeds which we couldn't even do a hundred years ago so that's why they weren't in our food supplies to get that oil out of the seed you have to use a chemical processing uh, process and that is with something called hexane and we find that in those oils and we don't want those chemicals in our bodies or in our children's bodies so really the moral of this story is that we have to reduce those omega-6s I would be brutal absolutely brutal with getting them out of your food supply I would read every label and if you see sunflower corn vegetable cotton seed peanut oil all those oils I I would or or the big one soybean oil I would be so so scrupulous in trying to get them out and the other thing too is there are some good oils if you use them in, in moderation that are made by like spectrum Hollywood Hain those are called expeller press they're going to be more expensive i'm going to tell you right now but almost every grocery store now carries them so you can get expeller pressed sunflower oil you can get expeller you know expeller pressed soybean oil and it's it's a really good oil because that chemical processing hasn't happened and a lot of those oils you can get organic but i would stick with those brands so thank you so much for um for watching this video today you honor me with your time and uh, and I just ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter and just remember that everybody deserves to be optimally healthy this is Lindy Ford thank you again